you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries november 15th 33rd sunday in ordinary time let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew chapter 25 verses 14 to 30 For it is as if a man going on a journey summoned his slaves and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. The one who had received the five talents went off at once and traded with them and made five more talents. in the same way the one who had the two talents made two more talents but the one who had received the one talent went off and dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money after a long time the master of those slaves came and settled accounts with them then the one who had received the five talents came forward bringing five more talents saying master you handed over to me five talents see i have made five more talents his master said to him well then good and trust with this slave you have been trusted with in few things i will put you in charge of many things enter into the joy of your master and the one with the two talents also came forward saying master you handed over to me two talents see i have made two more talents his master said to him well done good and trustworthy slave you have been trustworthy in a few things i will put you in charge of uh, many things enter into the joy of your master then the one who had received the one talent also came forward saying master i knew that uh, you were a harsh man reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you did not scatter seed so i was afraid and i went and hit your talent in the ground here you have what is yours and his master replied you wicked and lazy slave you knew did you that i reap where i did not sow and gather where i did not scatter then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers and on my return i would have received what was my own with interest so take the talent from him and give it to the one with the 10 talents for to all those who have more will be given and they will have an abundance but from those who have nothing even what they have will be taken away as for this worthless slave throw him into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth this is the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends last ordinary sunday of the church year this is in effect next week 34th sunday we celebrate the feast of christ the king and again as last week we are reminded not just of the end of the liturgical year but of the end of all things and preparation we need to make last week the story of a 10 bread maids waiting for the arrival of the bridegroom was about the constant readiness for the final coming of christ today's mass is rather about the preparation we needed to make the second reading demands us that the day of the lord will come like a thief in the day night when we least expect it when we are least ready we do not belong to the night or to darkness so we should not go on sleeping as everyone else does but stay wide awake and sober and what should we be doing why we are wide awake in anticipation of the lord's coming yes the gospel passage however goes further in the pinpointing the ultimate purpose of our activities it is the parable of the talents literally one talent was a very large sum of money 
equivalent to thousands of dollars of today. The parable contains words of advice for the interim period between Christ's resurrection and his uh, final return. It urges a responsible use of the goods the master has entrusted to us so that we may be ready to face him when he calls us to account. Yes, we see in the parable an employer entrusting his property to each of the three servants to administer while he is away. The first two of whom one received five talents and the one received five, uh, two talents traded with what they had been given and doubled their capital. The third, however, the one who received at least went off and dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. A long time after, suggesting the long period between Jesus' resur resurrection and his coming again, the second coming, the employer returns to call his servants to account. He is very pleased with the first two who had done so well as to double their original capital because they had shown much such trustworthiness and a willingness to take risks over what was uh, relatively little. They could now be confidently interested with much more. They could enter the joy of their Lord, namely Kingdom of God. The, man, the third man came forward and sheepishly offered his single talent. He was afraid of his master. I heard, heard you were, you were a hard man, harsh man, reaping where you have not sown and gathering where, where you have not scattered. Here is your talent. It is yours. Take it back. The employer is very angry. At least the money would have been put in the bank and he earned a medicum of interest. One is reminded here of the branches of the wine, which have no fruit and get thrown into the fire. In terms of the gospel, it speaks of the Christians. Why may be very devout, but what makes no contribution, whatever the life of the Christian community or to its mandate the, to give witness to the gospel before the world. Amen. May God bless us.